park. I went to the church first. Oh. How does that? The electricity, was it in Round Lake before Clifton Park? The electricity? Yes. You said it oh, came yeah. from Mechanicsville to Vosburg Road to Elnora and then to the church. Came from Jonesville to within a couple miles of Clifton Park. But ours would be coming from Mechanicville, up the Mechanicville Road. And they had poles so far. And then they had poles so far, much farther. And finally, they got, they got to the village about the time. See, we moved from the farm. And then the wooler didn't get electricity for some time after we did. What year was that? Probably the 30s. Five. Oh. I graduated from high school in 22. Yes, I, I wonder when it came to Round Lake. Yes. Right. Yes. Because 146 never existed until how many years later? Hmm. There. Did you pull down hmm. the kerosene lamps around it? Six lamps, probably. And if the evening service didn't get out, and people go home, the sexton would pull the center light down and turn the lights off. And then there will only be the side light to light the people to take the hint that they could go home now, so he could go home. <laughs> Did they have electric organ then? What? When did they get the electric organ? Oh, quite some time after that. Oh my. Did they come up with no, next? No, no. It didn't no, seem like... But you had to be within a certain distance of the city. They wouldn't go any farther. And the telephone came after that, right? No. Before. Telephone was before that. Oh. You remember that, right? When they brought that in? When did we get the telephone in? Uh, we and another family were the only two for miles had the telephone put in. Did you people, have, people would come quite a ways to use, use, our, use our phone to call the doctor or Did something. you have a hand crank and then you... That is right. You hand cranked and got yes. the operator? Yes. Said, hey, Mabel? Yes, yes you, you, you got... Her. For anything out of your line, you dialed zero. Yeah. Okay. And then she'd answer. And you had answer. a dial phone? What? Yes, right. it was a dial phone. That's what I thought you had to crank. To get it going, you crank it, then you could dial. In the movies, you see that. Now, first they started with a crank. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, okay. It so started you, with a crank, and that notified the editor that you wanted something. Okay. They and did have a wire yeah, that, was crank it. that was before. That was, did you the have that kind of a phone? The crank, crank, crank phone yeah. was when I was quite small. Okay. And by the time you were 18 years old, you had a dial tone? Dial. You could dial. Yeah. Yes. And if you yes. wanted to get outside of your area, you had to dial the operator. Operator. And, yes. they, and then tell the operator what number you wanted. Yes. And then yes. they would hook you up because they did everything at a switchboard, right? That's right. Right. I remember that. Jim did this and uh, was busy all the time. Yes. Excuse me. She works really hard, you know. She does music, you know. And you sit at home, do nothing. I read books. Hmm? <laughs> and plan some next nice trip to India or China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all beyond me. Okay. And then how did you? How did everybody learn how to drive it? They, they left a man with two with a passenger came in and left a touring model T touring car by the pump. They they got out and another car came in the yard, and the one man got out and got in the car, and the, my brother, of course, stayed there. And then in the next morning, he went out and started the car, and we drove, the, he and my father and Willard drove down the row of apple trees, around and back. And then another one of them, if Edmund drove first, Edmund drove first down, around mm. and back. And then Willard got in. And then my father, or my prob probably my father got in and drove down between two in the field and around and that, yeah. that's, drive how, it. that's how they learned to drive. And that was 1915 Model P. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good car, huh? We have that car. Okay. Edmund thought that we should have a sedan. Never liked the sedan. And we only keep it, kept it a couple of years. He, he wanted the open car. The sedan, you know where the doors were in the first Ford sedan? No. In the middle. In the middle? There was no front door? No front door. No back door? No back door. Just the door? The... Uh, a window in the middle, on a door in the middle, in the in the middle, and you open the door and you squeeze that way, or you'd squeeze to go to the back seat. Okay. Okay. You ever did you ever own a car with a rumble seat in it? I think Roy did, later. Okay. I think Roy did. That would be about 1930, 31? He had a rumble seat. Okay, what was your first car? 